We are on the final turn here. This little three turn introductory scenario of Kingdom of Heaven. And I just want to fill you in on what the situation's like. I've been playing this for, I've played it for a, eh, a few hours here and there every night. And uh, I don't I do not do all these in one day. I wish I could, but these games usually take a while. But I will fill you in on the situation and what has happened. Eh, it'll mostly be a rap video, I think. But uh, I, like I said, I had my forces come on up here. Uh, I had to split them up. So he wanted to take the quick route, head on down here, try to get down there to Jerusalem. Because uh, of activations, I might not have been able to activate them all but somehow old Bohemian got left behind so he was there gassing this big old stack here with uh, Kerboga he just moved out of Aleppo his last activation waiting to, waiting to pounce but uh, going back a few turns old uh, Bohemian was here trying to catch up on his activation he moved one here to old uh, what was that called just hell rogue whatever city that area that is area to that area called chest hell rogue and uh some units here in old antioch about as big of a stack as uh bohemians maybe not as many but uh our kerbogas uh bohemian himself only had about two three units there anyway i think most of them were reduced strength so that weakened force moved out of Gaston down here to Chastel Rogue area and was uh, intercepted by the forces of Antioch. Um, you know, it might have been a good chance to maybe wipe them out or do some damage, but uh, it didn't turn out that way for the Arab player. And uh, they haven't had any good luck in the battles at all. Uh, I know it's just a die roll. It's, you know, luck of the die rolls, but uh, they're coming out on the short end of the stick. But anyway, when he intercepted, he had to retreat too. That's what happens when you lose a major battle or something like that. You have to retreat too. So he couldn't go back into Antioch. He had to come back out. So I do believe he moved one, two, back into Aleppo. And uh, joined, who was it? It might have been, uh, uh, come on the other way. Old Ridwan. I think he might have been the one that was inside of Antioch and made the big mistake of attacking the Crusaders. But uh, he had to retreat out. And meanwhile, the Crusaders were here at Chastel Rogue with a nice five victory point city of Antioch sitting there ungarrisoned. So uh, they moved on in. He suffered attrition, though. He's, he's down to run Crusader unit that's half strength. And uh, you can see there they got the what's called the resistance factor of three which ain't much for resistance factor but still you have to at least inflict one casualty to take the stronghold and that in this case a city and uh, he couldn't even do that because he's only got to, <laughs> you have to have some kind of strength to do it and he's still laying siege the assault was not successful uh, meanwhile all the units here in Aleppo are moving out moving out for the kill uh, he's still outside of the city and it just generally ain't looking good. I must have used up a lot of cards on that little bunch of actions here. Anyway, old Chalus is down here at Holmes. Also, I made a call for surrender, and uh, it was unsuccessful. Uh, oh, where am I going on? Yeah, he's still here. But, uh, yeah, he's outside there. None of my calls for surrender were very successful, but a good thing to do when you're trying to get a call for surrenders have at least six units with the leader and just a little quirk there adds to the die roll modifiers and I've been coming up short my calls for surrender have all failed <laughs> you get the what it comes down to is just these uh these areas are pretty pretty wide uh, areas here like I said earlier I don't, know, I don't know if I said it in this video but uh these are about 100 years 100 miles wide or so at least and uh these little castles on them are just little strongholds you know within these areas my name little dot on there but uh you could go around them so i've tried making a few calls of surrender roll the dice see what happens but like i said you need at least six uh units to do it and it might even be in your favor 
if you don't have six, this is just a strategy tip, to not even try it because the more you try it, the more you fail, you get negative die roll modifiers on following attempts. So unless you have six units, <coughs> excuse me, lesson learned, don't even try a call for surrender because it just gets their resistance. It makes them more ballsy. But uh, he's down here. Uh, that's the situation here because I do believe it's going to be the end of the game. And that is because of this. I only got one card left. Remember that. Another key thing. I might have wasted cards. And like I said, it's been about a day or so since I've been down here and I've played. But uh, yeah, I don't have enough. I got enough to activate them. That's a three, uh, three power card. So it's more than enough to activate uh, Old Tullus. But the only thing is, Crusaders can only move four. If I'd move it, they move a one, two, three, four, one short of Jerusalem. And even after that, you need cards to, you know, while you're attacking and laying siege. So I need at least two or three more cards. Might have been my mistake strategy wise and not using them, or not using them wisely. Or thinking maybe I was a, you know, space away from getting there, but uh, we're getting down to it. Muslim players only got two cards, also, so bad card management by me. And uh, that's another thing you might want to remember about this game. It's all about the cards. As a matter of fact, when you're playing this game, you almost need to play it like this, like you're playing a card game, because these cards can be used while this guy's moving. While you're having battles, I mean, this is, and you gotta activate leaders. It's all about holding these cards in front of you. So, uh, and uh, for that purpose, too, also, I uh, put an ad to bar a play by email. And after I played this game, I'm like, well, you know, I don't know how that would work. It's almost, you almost have to play it on Vassal, or if they got a, a tabletop simulator. That's a good new platform, people, if you wanna, if you just like playing on a tabletop. Uh, if they have that this game on there that'd be a good way to play it too so uh i will continue i want to i'm going to play this uh, scenario over again maybe and uh i'm curious i'm really excited about moving on to scenario number two because this is about my i'll be going on my fourth game on scenario one but it's a good scenario and i'm kind of kind of see if i can beat it but uh that'll be it for my youtube video on this game uh good looking game you got all this muslim riding here you know i got your good boards I always got my notes and everything. But, uh, yeah, you might want to make an area for uh, when you have battles. That's a good thing to have. Oops, let me see if I got some. Uh, got my little area map here for my battles in case I got multiple. I haven't reached that point yet. But, uh, yeah. And then you got all these nice little markers. Don't forget to mark your cities with the markers that they do give you. Um, and then I mean, we haven't demonstrated it yet, but uh, they got the Christian side, too when the Christians take it over. So it's a really good looking game. Looks better on a close-up video. If they would have made these, man, if you would have made these uh, counters, like uh, Flying Pig Games, Armageddon, oh, oh, that would have been nice. Because he's got some really good illustrations down there. It's just that my eyes are not going to see it like that. <laughs> yeah, so it looks nice. They got the sunset going behind the city. It's a Muslim motif and everything like that. But, uh, Good game, good card driven game. A lot of strategy when it comes to sieges, uh, assaults, and of course, in the harsh environment, attrition. So uh, that's it. Uh, that'll be a loss for me on this one. Again, with only three victory points, came up short. I'm trying to get through this little area here. <laughs> There's a bear. So I made it down to here. My last game, I made it down to Jerusalem. I just uh, didn't have enough, uh, I, had, I had like a, like this guy, uh, one Crusader unit that was half strength, and yeah, that didn't last long either, so, uh, trying to crack the nut, here in some Kingdom of Heaven, multi-man publishing, and a good game by Scott DePriestend.